Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Math 1 in Part 1 of Module 1. And these problems all involve a little bit of, what would you call it, non-JavaScript related knowledge. And we'll take as an example average. You don't really need to know uh, JavaScript to know how to get an average, but if you don't know how to get an average, uh, all the JavaScript in the world is probably not going to help you on this one. Although to be sure there's probably a method out there that could do this, but we're going to do it by hand. So an average is essentially you sum up all the numbers and you divide by the number of numbers. So pretty, pretty straightforward issue here. So we'll say variable sum is equal to num1 plus num2. And then since there are two numbers, we're just going to return sum divided by 2. And that should give us the average. Area of a triangle is 1 half times the base times the height. So in that case, we'll just return uh, a couple of ways we could do this. Let's just say 1 divided by 2. But in terms of JavaScript's ability to mess with division and all that kind of stuff, it gets really ugly very quickly. So we'll say 0 0.5. Hmm, let's say 0 0.5 uh, times the base times the height. And that's just one of those. That's the expression. This is how we do multiplication in JavaScript. And hopefully this will give us the correct answer. So 1 half times the base times the height or one half times the height times the base, because multiplication is, oh, what's the word for this? Commutative? Mm, don't take my word for that. But there's a word that has to do with the order not mattering, and the order doesn't matter for this. Um, might be commutative, it might not be. But that doesn't really matter for our purposes. So now we want to get a cube, and take the input value and cube it, and that's basically just raising it to an exponent of three. So we could return the expression num, times times, which gives us the exponent operator, 3. Actually, I'm not sure if this is Python or JavaScript, so let's run this, and if it's not, we'll look up a different way to do it. Ah, that does it. So, write a function called square. Same idea here that we just did for cube, but instead of return num times times 3, we're going to do num times times 2. Uh, times times is definitely not what you call that, but it is what I call it, just because it helps me remember that it's multiplication, which is times, and then another multiplication symbol, which is also times, so times times. Don't have to, but it works for me. Return num times times 2, that's going to get the job done. Run and correct. So thanks for watching this video, pretty short one. Relatively simple, straightforward concepts here, so hopefully this didn't take you too long, but if it did, uh, hopefully the, uh, what would you call it, mentioning of these mathematical functions will help you out a little bit. And just give a quick look at each of the answers again. Cool. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.